Okay, welcome back guys. Um, I think we're up to week nine. I, um, I had a bit of trouble with remembering the date. I uh, downloaded an app which will help me log um, how it's tracking uh, each of the plants. I've got the uh, Nirvana Seeds Ice up the back. I got um, the CBD um, skunk haze growing up back right. Uh, this is the clone that I took from the ice, so that would have been a few weeks ago now. And this is a lettuce, uh, which is loving it. It's going off. Um, as you can see, that um, that ice has um, suffered a bit of torture after I tipped it. Um, it was just going through its normal process of um, I was just using the recommended amount of um, nutrients um, but maybe I was doing it too regularly I was changing the water every two days and topping up with nutrients every two days so we have fresh water fresh nutrients every two days what I should have done was do nutrients two days give it a break for two days nutrients for two days break for two days and then leave it a week just water but um, as you can see and um, I had to cut some leaves off. It's it suffered um, some burn. Even these new, new leaves at the top are very dry. Uh, it's a problem. Um, but also, the pH water uh, alkalinity was fluctuating by three points every single day. So, or every 24 hours. So I would uh, change the pH with citric acid, and drop it down to five, come back. Uh, 24 hours later and it would be up to 8 so then I would drop it back down to 5 apparently this is not good and this is what is also causing this this problem as well so I've got to be really careful not to uh, change the the uh, pH too rapidly okay so here we go weed log just looting okay so for the ice this is day 61 fucking dismal like it's just you can see potential like it's got little branches but for 61 days it's just it wasn't growing look at my lights I mean this is what I started with the blue one up the back blue LED that's what I started with and they are shit um, absolute crap that's a part of the problem then I went and bought one of these which is the blue and red equally as shit both from eBay and then I bought a 300 water from eBay as well, and this is the bomb. 300 watt LED full spectrum. Man, let me give you an example. I planted the um, CBD skunk haze 12 days ago. It's already got roots. Like it's it's fucking loving it. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend it. Anyway, so what I've got here, I'm just going to do a quick pH check. So digital readout. I just lift the lid. Stick it in. All right, so it's telling me 7.8 at the moment. So I'm just gonna put it a little bit. Normally I do three squirts to drop it three points. I'm just gonna do one squirt. Drop it a little bit. Um, the pH fluctuations just fucked it big time. So, what? Um, and it doesn't help, you know, with this this poor ice plant. Should have had a better start at life with better lighting. Um, I highly recommend that full spectrum LED. Uh, it did cost me 148 bucks, but fucking man, well worth it. Uh, each of those um, other the blue. And the blue red LEDs, I mean, they only cost me 30 bucks, but it's just a waste, man. They're just useless. They are not good for growing dope with. I don't care what people say, just fucking waste of time. I'm just glad it didn't get to the point where they were budding and just would have fucked everything. So, yeah. So, this is the um, ice seedling over here. Um, he's got some good color, like, he's doing all right. He's, he's hanging in there. But, the mother is just, it's just feels so dry. I'm just too afraid to touch the little 
the little leaves, are, the, the green, they're hanging in there. Everything probably looks pink on the camera in this light, but everything's green. Uh, just the edges are, are brown. These leaves are brown, they can go. But, um, and I may as well start lollipopping those brown bits off. Um, I, I really, um, I'm going to have to wait another eight weeks, I reckon, for that ice plant before I can start putting in the bud. But this CBD uh, skunk haze, it is the shit. Um, after, you know, back in my early video, I mentioned I bought the um, ice plant in 2012. Um, it has very high THC, 18% in fact, uh, but only 0.1% percent CBD. The skunk haze, on the other hand, uh, is one I researched through uh, cbdcrew.org. Um, they're able to provide analysis report. They're saying that the um, the bud that they analyzed on that day of analysis had 12.5% uh, THC, 11.12% CBD. That's quite high, but they're basically saying with every seed, you're going to get at least 5% THC, 5% CBD. That is a true one-to-one -one ratio. And this is effective at curing or fighting cancer. This is the shit. Um, the skunk haze is, uh, has a taste of cedar wood spicy with citrus pine mint flavors. And um, whereas your, your ice plant is just for getting really stoned off and tastes like fucking petrol. Apparently it's very stinky, but some other websites I was reading say it has a citrus flavor. It's very sweet, but you know everyone that's been growing it says it fucking shit smells like diesel. Um, anyway, I'm pretty pumped. Everything's cranking along. Um, yeah, I just got wa plain water in my reservoir, and um, I'm not going to use any nutrients until bud stage. Um, the uh, CBD skunk haze developed its roots very quickly. That's only day 12. When I took the jiffy coil out of the water reservoir that it was germinating in, its roots were well established after seven days. Fucking impressive. And all thanks to that grow light and probably good genetics with that plant as well. Um, I just hope this ice plant survives and cranks along. Um, yeah. That's about all for now. If uh, please post comments, uh, your comments are welcome. Thank you.